Retro Bro here, back again with another Retro Pie how to video. Today, this time, we are talking about how to get PC Engine CD to work on your Retro Pie. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated than some of the other ones we've done, um, certainly more complicated than Neo Geo. It does require you to go in and change some text in the CUE file. I will show you guys how to do that, but first, to start off, the BIOS file, guys. The BIOS file you're going to need is this one right here. This is SYS card, C-A-R-D, the number three dot P-C-E. That is the BIOS we need for the PC Engine CD games to play. Again, it's syscard three dot P-C-E. You can check MU Paradise, do a Google search. It's actually not very hard to find. It's one of the easier BIOS files to find. So once you have that BIOS file, syscard3.pce, locate your RetroPie on your network, go into RetroPie, go into BIOS, and you're gonna copy and paste or move that BIOS into that folder. So first thing you're gonna do, download syscard3.pce, unzip it if it's zipped, and then go ahead and put it in the BIOS file for your RetroPie. Now we're gonna get into the actual ISOs and CUE files. So I've had more success with ISOs. Now, there are people who use bin files. I've never had any success with a bin. I'll be completely honest with you. The only ones I can get to work are ISO files. So pretty much the only thing I really cared about was, if we can find it here, the Dracula X or Dracula Rondo of Blood. And we'll go ahead and pull that up. All right, guys, so here we are. We are, we have our uh, Dracula X ISO and Dracula X dot CUE. So the first thing you want to do is usually when you download these that will come into a zip file, uh, they'll be either a WinRAR or just zipped. Make sure you unzip them, place them in a file where you're going to find them. And then once you have them extracted like this, the first thing you're going to want to do is take this ISO file right here, highlight the text, make sure the whole thing is highlighted and you're going to copy that. So I'm just gonna control C to copy. All right, now we have that copied. So we wanna go into the CUE file and we're gonna edit it. So what we want it to do is we want it to point directly to this ISO file. Uh, it's case sensitive, so usually this one's already changed, but usually in this uh, CUE file, the ISO file is actually going to be in, um, in it, the I ISO is gonna be capitalized, so we wanna change that. So right click on your CUE, Go to edit with notepad plus plus. That's what I use. You can use notepad, but you want to go ahead and edit that. I'll go ahead and maximize this. So I don't know if you can see it on here, but we have the file Akumuja Dracula X Chino Rin NTSC J ISO. So what normally is going to happen is normally I've already done this. So normally you'll have a you'll have a capitalization ISO. So we want to go ahead and highlight that whole thing. And we're just going to go ahead and paste what we copied previously. So now you can see that dot ISO is matching the actual ISO directory file. So go ahead and file save. You can close out of there. Copy and paste your two files. You want to copy and paste the CUE and the ISO file. Go back to your network. Find your retro Pi, go to your ROMs. Now you can place these directly into the PC engine. And you're gonna just copy and paste. As you can see, mine's actually already in there. The SRM and estate, those are just save states. So go ahead and copy and paste your edited CUE and ISO file in there. It should take a couple of minutes. Once that's transferred over and on your Pi, we'll go ahead and go to the Pi, we'll reset it and we'll get started. So uh, let's go ahead and move to the Pi and play some Rondo of Blood. All right guys, so here we are at the Pi now. Obviously, once you transfer that over, they won't be there until you restart. So go ahead, hit Start, Quit. You're gonna restart Emulation Station. Select Yes, and we'll give it a reboot. All right, so from there, once you've been restarted, go ahead and scroll down to your PC engine where your normal PC or TurboGrafx-16 games will be. 
And you should see the file right there. There we are, Rondo of Blood. Or however the hell you say it in Japanese. But this is the original Rondo. The one made for the PC Engine. So you should be met with this screen. Go ahead and push the start button or run. Now if it locks up here, you did something wrong. So sometimes it'll freeze and you won't get this Konami. Usually if that happens, it just simply means you're uh, when, you, when you copy and pasted something, you probably didn't do it right. Like I said, it is case sensitive. So if it locks up or freezes, that's probably more than likely what happened. But if you did it right, you should be met with the game, Konami startup screen, and then Rondo of Blood. So, uh, you know, I've already got a save file on here, but uh, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, like I said, make sure you're using ISOs. You can experiment with bins. Um, I've seen people do the same thing with bin files. Uh, maybe I'm just using the wrong files. They simply just didn't work for me. So anyways, guys, um, thanks for coming on and checking out this video. Uh, go ahead and take a look in the comments section. Join the Bro Force on Facebook. If you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I uh, hope you appreciated this video. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Retro Bro out. This video is brought to you by RetroBroGaming.com. If you enjoyed this video, support the channel by clicking the link below, where you can get pre-built Raspberry Pi 3 kits so you can enjoy all your retro favorites. Visit the apparel shop and get your custom RetroBro t-shirts and workout tanks. Thanks for watching, and do you even RetroBro?